aging face that this world has forgotten. Ooh, what is up, guys? And of course, welcome to another episode of Who Was Really Better? And of course, a special thank you to one of my YouTube followers and subscribers called My Lotic, who actually suggested Malotic versus Jarados. But as you guys can see, it has shifted a little bit. Though, of course, that suggestion was very inspiring, since, of course, Jaros and Malodic do share mirrored stats completely, actually. But as I was going to do that, I realized one thing. Feraligator is basically Jaros and has always been basically Jaros throughout, of course, the generation. It's actually quite broad and, and very, very, very interesting at that, because Feraligator has always been regarded as the pushover between these two, because it just felt like a waste of a Pokemon since Generation 2 and onwards because Jarros was so easy accessible. So I feel it's very, very fair to actually compare these two Dragon Dance Pokemons. While we're not going to talk too much about, of course, the old generations, one can, of course, mention at least that they have been ex used exactly the same way to some fashion, of course. They always have a carrying Waterfall, Dragon Dance, and then basically filler moves such as Earthquake or Crunch or Ice. Punch or Fang, depending on the Pokemon itself. Should we know that Jardos get, did get Crunch, of course, Generation 6, so it's kind of fair of having that as comparison, but I feel it's important to mention at least. So, with that said, let's actually go over their stats and compare them against one another. Jardos does have a bigger HP bar, clearly, with 95 base over 85 there. Also, Jardos has more attack stats. It's a really, really force to be reckoned with, no matter what tier. And that's definitely a way of differentiating himself from, of course, Feraligator, if anything. Defenses, Feraligator does stand out there, and so goes with a special attack. While special attack is not a big deal within any of these, at least Feraligator is somewhat usable, which we're going to talk about a bit later. Special defense, Jardos, of course, field, and speed, it's not a lot, but Jardos is the faster between the two. But, like I said, not by a lot. But, of course, as far as Dragon Dance go, that's a big issue, of course, as we're going to be comparing against one another. And, of course, their typing. While both are water, Jardos has immunity and, of course, more resistances than, of course, Feraligator. Immunity to, of course, ground, then we've got to resist a bug, fighting fire, steel, water, and, of course, only two weaknesses, of course, a rock of electric. The electric being, of course, of four times. They do share the electric weaknesses, but Feraligator only has two weaknesses, as, of course, Jardos, but has less resistances. And with that said, let's of course go over their abilities. Jardos is at least better when it comes to, of course, setting up Intimidate and Moxie, two superb abilities. Intimidate is awesome since it often can force switch anything, doesn't have to worry about anything necessarily too much. And of course, Moxie is just a very, very intimidating skill. If you can pull up one Dragon Dance, you are very likely to, of course, outspeed anything your opposing team that you're facing, and Mox will just ensure that you hit that much harder after the first KO. That is all fine and dandy, but for Alligator got Torrent, which is not really that good. It had that for actually four generations, or three. Didn't have an ability, of course, in Gen 2, that is. But outside of that, for Alligator never had Chief Force. It was introduced in Generation 5, and this new hidden ability for for Alligator, but it was never used in that Gen, and we actually got it very, very late, like an Ember, really, very late Gen 6. And that extra share force meant the world for a Pokemon such as Feraligator. Because now it could utilize Life Orb properly, which means that it of course doesn't get residual damage from Life Orb, which is awesome, which definitely helps it out. And of course it has access to the likes of Aqua Jet, which of course makes it even better because it has a priority which Jardos are lacking. And then we come into probably more of the Nishi area, and that is due to share force. Its special attack now is kind of relevant because with Life Orb and of course the Share Force boost to every secondary effect on enemy special moves, it now hits that much harder. We have Scald, Ice Beam, and of course Focus Blast, three primary moves which makes Veraligator rather potent special attacking sweeper in this game. But there is pretty much where Veraligator's big advantage stops coming in. Because Share Force has definitely made a difference with this Pokemon, and so much so that it actually leaped from never used to underused. And that's a big leap, considered as it never used, it was the primary sweeper, definitely. It was never, you know, the outstanding Pokemon it became due to Share Force. Having that said, 
one really has consideration what Gyarados can do between, of course, these two, because they always are compared to the Dragon Dance capabilities. And if we're talking just by Dragon Dance alone, then Gyarados has to be considered better, mainly because its two abilities are just made for actually making it good to set up. It's a ferocious Pokemon. Intimidate does help this Pokemon a lot. It walls out more things than Relegator does, which just makes it that much more scarce to deal with. And Mox, of course, ensures that any wall-breaking capabilities are just eased up due to, of course, just insane attacks that this Pokemon just carries. 1 in 25 is to be scared of and dealt with properly accordingly, really. And also, let's not forget that the dual stab that Gyarados has flying water is just more than enough to deal with any threat, really. It's a perfect combination of offensively pressuring Pokemon, and it does get, of course, bounce. While not the best move in, you know, any Wi-Fi battle whatsoever, it still is a rather relevant, well, move, really, to have. Of course, combination of, you know, Dragon Dance, and Earthquake, and, of course, Waterfall, this guy packs a punch behind it, and it's very, very easy to, of course, offensively shake any team it faces after one Dragon Dance, while for Alligator, sadly, isn't necessarily able to do so. But, with that said, for Alligator has agility, which makes it, of course, faster if you want to use a special move pool really, really well. And it all kind of boils down to which one of these Pokemon are hardest to deal with in a matchup, because they are so similar and actually, in, in my book, would probably consider a tie because of, you know, the unpredictability that both of these Pokemon are. But if I had to go down to it, it all gonna boils down to a very, very boring part, and that is, how do they fare defensively? And here is where it's getting kind of wide open of which one actually may actually do better than the other. One of these are weak to rocks, the other aren't. And trust me on this, if you're gonna have a battle for a long time and want to have a set of sweeper coming in and out, Jardos will not do that for you. Sadly, I should say, while I do prefer Jardos in an offensive environment, for Alligator is just slightly more better defensively when it comes between these two. The advantages of Raleator have are slightly, because Jardos is the offensively better sweeper, and overall, if you're gonna use that in mind, Jardos has to be considered a better between these two. But for Alligator does have that unpredictability, of course, being able to actually be a special sweeper and a good one at that. And the Dragon Dance variant on this and priority makes for Alligator a bit more desirable when it comes to actually dealing with the multiple stuff. And that is where Alligator just shines. And being, of course, not weak to Stealth Rocks is also a major thing. While Water and Flying actually have very, very good defensive typing, one really can't ignore. And for the long game, so Jardos is not going to be a part of that. Unless you use the Mega Form, but if we're using the Mega Forms, then for Alligator has no chance versus Jardos. None whatsoever. But of course, with that said, that's gonna end the video. And for Alligator, like I said here, it's slightly better, but not by a lot. And quite frankly, if you're gonna use it, like I said, offensively, then Jardos is better. There is no way of actually denying that. But what do you guys think about these two? These two are definitely hard to compare to because I really like them both. And like I said, I prefer Jardos myself, but. There are factors here one you just can't ignore. Uh, and also with that said, if you guys want to see a comparison on your own, make sure to write, of course, down below. Next week, we are going to watch Arcanine vs. Entei. And we're going to have a guest narrator for this, that, of course, <laughs> upload. So with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care.